and in the ring looking very handsome. So here's the tale of the tape. Look, Chung, Linky Bag, 21 years of age, 170 centimetres tall, 125.6 pounds in official weight, 70 fights to his record, taking on San Warit from Buriram, 20 years of age, 167 centimetres tall, 126 pounds officially on the scales for this one. 80 fights to his record. Now, and their incredible experience along with it. I think we're in for a bit of a, a show of five round Muay Thai here, Joe. So Luk Chung, the taller of the two, only by a smidgen, three centimetres, not too noticeable. San Warit now in the southpaw position. So perhaps they've gone back to giving the southpaws <laughs> the blue shorts again. <laughs> They're just messing with our minds at this point, Joe. I can't keep up, but let's see. Let's see if we can... Uh... But in this one, Southpaw taking on Southpaw. So, Battle of the Southpaw action here. Left for left. 50-50 apiece. That's what we'd like to see. And this is why Kiat Pet Promotions are the best promoters in Thailand, bringing you the most even matchups. Now, these first round as we've talked about before, tend to be a lot slower in the five round world of Muay Thai. Downloading the information of your opponent, collecting data, throwing out a couple of fakes, but not putting in 100% power. Yes, I think Luke Chang will definitely be uh, saving his gas tank here for the later rounds. As a Muay Thai fighter, you'll tend to find these fighters in rounds three and four, stepping up their game, locking on and driving those knees in. So I'll be interested to see if he does step it up at all in rounds one and two. But there was a little flurry of action there from him, which was really nice to see. A beautiful technical display of some hands followed by a chopping low kick. So there we are. Luke Chung employing a nice high guard, just watching San Werit ever so slightly and closely, very focused. Oh, a little bit of a slip, looking like Bambi on ice there, San Werit. <laughs> getting back up to continue the action. Yes, yeah, Samrit was not phased by that at all. Just straight and ready to go again in the first round. Both fighters trying to just feel out with the low kicks, which is a technique that you do tend to see from fighters in the first two rounds. Just setting up with a few, a few jabs, a few feints, some chopping low kicks just to take away the power of the kicks to come in the later rounds. And of course, this is a battle of the lefties, a battle of the southpaws. Eleanor, could you just duck down to the nearest home pro and get me a left-handed screwdriver <laughs> while we're at it? <laughs> Think I might be walking for a while. We are on the outskirts of Bangkok here at Omnoy Stadium this Saturday afternoon. Now, this is a very interesting matchup. It is not something that you see very often with two southpaws against one another. So I'm interested to see the techniques they em employ and how they deal with this because I think I'm safe in saying that as a southpaw, they don't really tend to come up against many other southpaws. And there we have it, the end of round one. Both fighters not particularly doing too much, not giving too much away. So let's see if they can uh, step it up a little bit in round two. Don't go anywhere. From Luke Chang, as we come into the second round of our main event. Somewhere it going for that front leg straight away. Out of the gates in round two. Straight into the clinch Ooh, from nice. Luke Chung. Trying to pick up the pace here. And a ferocious elbow from Sam Wirit. Yeah, both fighters definitely wanting to impress in our main event. But don't go anywhere. Our bout five does have two fighters. One, Nasabu V. Yord IQ at 112 pounds. So don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss bout five after this main event. As we are back in centre ring, Luke Chung just popping the teep out like a ferocious elephant, swinging at the trunk, trying to bait his opponent into the big southpaw power kick. Yes. But Samurit not having it now. Samurit changing stances now in the orthodox stance, switching up the strategy, perhaps trying to take out the front leg of 
the baby elephant in Lukchang. It is so impressive when fighters are able to fight both Southpaw and Orthodox. That is a really, really high level skill and something that you tend to see fighters back in the old golden era practicing and employing in their fights. So I'll be impressed if he can manage to switch and keep the power in his kicks, even though he has decided to go back into Orthodox. Here we are back in center ring. Oh, nice, a big fake to try and test the reaction time there of Sam Warit. Big, nice forward march. Kick for kick. Yeah. Bit of it. This is turning into a bit of a kick battle here in round number two. I think Luke Chang is definitely the more aggressor of the both fighters. He is tending to edge forward, take a little bit more action to San, San Warit. Sorry. So I think that he is definitely uh, biding his time to get into those big money rounds where he is wanting to clinch and lock on. You can tell he's almost holding back a little bit as he sends that kick. He wants to follow up, but he's kind of just reminding himself this is the second round of our main event on SKS Empire. Oh, a big shot there from Luk Chuang. And I think that is all she wrote, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure what that was, but we'll go and have a look at the replay in just a section. second. What a turnaround of events. I think and this I is why you can never expect anything in the art of eight limbs. Anything can happen. Luk Chung, the baby elephant walking home. The winner for today's main event from that ferocious whatever it was. We'll go and have a look in just a moment at the replay. Whatever that was, it took me by surprise. It really took me by surprise. I was just saying how Luke Chang looks like he's holding back 